If Ball State tackle Nick Plavchik is one thing. He's hairy. We like to call him our, our Russian bear. Bears are good animals. I like, I like him. He's probably my favorite animal. But if he's two things. He's really technical in everything he does. He, uh, you know, his stomps, his, his hands, stuff like that. He really pays a lot of attention to the detail. He's always big, but he, he's in tremendous shape. He's very strong. You know, we're re really lucky to have him. Saturday against Iowa will mark Plavchik's second career start in just his fourth collegiate appearance. He got his first start last week in the season opener against Colgate, filling in for the injured Drake Miller and doing so more than admirably. We didn't miss a beat at all, so that's just a testament to, to him, to our line and to the system and just, you know, it's the next man up and next man in and, and honestly, you, you couldn't tell the difference. Remarkable considering a month ago, this was Plavchik, a walk-on, receiving a scholarship in a video now with nearly 3,000 hits on YouTube. When we get a walk on here, we, we have the same res, res, requirements, the same responsibilities, the same bar that they've got to, you know, jump over and they're they're like any other member of the team. I was never really treated differently and a lot of there were a lot of players that didn't realize I was a walk on until you know that somehow came up in conversation. So how did Plavchik get here? Four years ago he was receiving mostly small D three interest while at Carmel's Garen Catholic and never completely entertained the thought of playing college football until the sun set on his high school career. Right after the season, you know, I didn't have, I have no football. I didn't know what to do with, what to do with my life. So I kind of like try and scramble actually. Like, you know, me and my coach sent uh, Strollo some, uh, some video. He had modest talent, uh, talent by, you know, I mean size and strength and speed. And, uh, but he, you could tell he had something to him. You know, he had the right personality, the right uh, ability to focus and concentrate. He was a good student. He was a good person. So, got to go try and get those guys to come to Ball State. Plavchik did, and then he worked, increasing his power clean to over 300 pounds. <laughs> and he increased his bench 120 pounds, and also went from 16 reps at 225 to 26. Dave Feely is our, you know, he's our ace in the hole. He's going to test you and challenge you, and if you come out of it, it's like, it's like um, you know, you, st you stick iron in, in coal or coke, I guess, in a fire, and it comes out steel. If I didn't work hard, I don't think I'd be here. And if I stopped working hard once I got here, I don't think I'd be, you know, I don't think I would have started or had a scholarship. Something he certainly earned and now gets to display on Saturdays. Justice. He deserved it. He did the right things. You know, this is what everyone works so hard for, and I finally really got to be in there contributing for one. Joel Godet, BallStateSports.com.